Hello children, how are you? I hope you're fine. So today we are going to do this chapter 5 of, when we'll go to this, first of all we'll go to the comprehension part. In the question 1 we'll uh, have a multiple choice question where you'll be uh, given three choices for every sentence and you will have to choose the reply of uh, that question from uh, given three choices. Huh? This is also known as multiple choice questions or MCQ you call it. Uh, shortly, students most of the they call it MCQs. Mary woke up in the middle of the night because A. She heard a strange sound. B. There was a storm. C. She saw a light. Uh, if you remember, first she woke up because of the storm and then he, she heard the strange sound. So we'll say that she woke up because of the storm. So we'll take this, right? Then Mary got out of the bed to close the window to find out about the strange sound and or to turn on the light. In fact, she got out to write. Okay. Now go to the three. Mary told Collins about a her father Dickens, the secret garden. What did she tell? Okay, yes, you're right. And what uh, what about the fourth question? Collins' uncle is gardener, doctor, or a servant? He is doctor, right? Now we'll go uh, to the second question. That is, the read the sentences. Write T for true or F for the false in the boxes. And these are the boxes given here. We'll read these questions in... If we find it true, then we'll write T here, and if we find it false, then we'll write F here, right? Mary saw a ghost in the middle of the night. No, she didn't see a ghost in the middle of the night. This is false. Colin's father usually visits Colin when he is sleeping. Yes, this is what Colin told him, so it is true. The servants never listen to Colin. No, this is wrong because they are... Um, um, so servants of Colin and he is their master so they listen to Colin right the Martha knows why Colin and Colin can't walk in fact Martha told that nobody is sure so we can't say that she knows it so we'll say this is false right Mary makes Colin feel better yes uh, after talking to Mary uh, Collins felt better so it is true now we go to go to the vocabulary part right choose the right words to complete these sentences we'll choose the right words we'll be given two choices and we'll have to choose the right word to complete our sentence tommy is ill and he didn't go to school i hope he finds out soon or he feels better soon i think this is feels better soon so we'll take this right the nurse was very nice and she listened to or looked after me very well when I was in hospital. Once you are in hospital, you have to, uh, you have to be taken care of or looked after. So, uh, we'll choose this looked after, right? You are so pale, Wendy. Have you seen a ghost or a squirrel? In fact, uh, you get pale once you are afraid of something, right? Once you are afraid of something, immediately you um, your color fades and you look pale, right? So, um, you uh, are you afraid of go uh, squirrels? No, people are afraid of ghosts. So this is just an imaginary thing, but still people are uh, afraid of ghosts. So we'll choose the word this ghost. The woman woke up at the light in the light oblique middle of the. Um, in the light of the night or the middle of the night to drink some water no it's middle of the night right tony didn't study very much so he was very awake oblique surprised when he passed his master's test maths test so what do you think you are surprised once you uh, once you uh, come to know something which you did not expect so tony was uh, um, not prepared for the exam and he had not studied much so he was and 
surprised when he passed the exam right okay now going over to your question number 4 that is complete the following sentences using the prepositions in the box prepositions in the box to from of at in about up these are the propositions that we will have to use in these five sentences right Jane didn't sleep well she was turning dash side dash side all the night uh, if you remember and the same thing happened with Mary she was turning from side to side so we will write here from side to side all the night right uh, at the in the middle of the night Mary was doing and so the, the same words we can use here turning from side to side right the boy woke dash late for school once you rise up in the morning uh, what is the other word for saying it that you wake up in the morning so the boys woke up right late for school and didn't have enough time to eat breakfast this morning the door dash the house was open but no one was at home the door of the house was open but no one was at home right the TV program dash dinosaurs was very interesting the TV program about dinosaurs was very interesting please meet me dash the coffee shop dash one hour please meet me where at the coffee shop right there is a word given at right and uh, about uh, in one hour right so we'll write here in so these things are now complete we will now going to go over to the follow-up activities follow-up activities we'll discuss mary woke up because there was a storm what kind of things wakes you up what kinds of things wake you up during the night this s is wrongly written here so you can correct it what kind of things wake you up during the night um, okay can you suggest what are the things that wake you up mostly people wake up because of some noise or some disturbance sometimes some people feel thirsty or they have to go to toilet also right so i prefer to write the answer this way you may have your own choice right but this is one suggestion that i'll give you but but you can use your own words and i suppose you will be using your own words because that's good right i'll just give you a suggestion normally i wake up at night due to some noise or when i am thirsty right so this is one way of replying this question you may have a different answer because normally you can wake up because there is sudden uh, too much of light or um, you have to go to toilet or um, because of some something wrong with the, with your body you may have a headache or a stomach ache right so this question this is uh, I've, I've just given you a tip right you can just uh, write a uh, answer reply like this right the next is mary decided to find out about the nice would you um, would you do the same why and why not what things frighten you wow um, are you afraid of something oh, no you should say that you're not afraid of anything right you should not be afraid of anything right you should be brave so would you do the same yes i would do the same I am not afraid of anything right this should be a question now this should be a reply to this question I think something like this okay you can reply in this way right the next is at first Collins thought that Mary was a ghost do you believe in ghosts why and why not <clears throat> I don't believe in ghosts the ghosts are an imaginary thing so uh, i personally don't believe in ghosts the ghosts are just an imaginary thing so you may write that you believe in ghosts and you may have a story even to tell 
but i personally don't, don't believe in ghosts so this is my reply you can reply with anything you want and because anything will be right this is just a um, language class or language uh, this is question of a language so it's not a mathematics that the answer has to be accurate you can write anything right okay collins is ill and cannot walk how do you think he feels have you ever had to stay in bed for a long time you see collins was ill and he couldn't walk and he was so sad and he was so bored and because he was he was supposed to stay in the bed all the time how does how do you think he feels i think he feels very sad and very bad right um, if you have to stay in the bed for some time uh, for, for for a few days you really get very bad feelings so i'll give you just an example that how can you reply this right uh, he must be feeling very bad once i got sick and stayed on bed for one week i felt very bored right this is one way of replying the um, the question you may have a different uh, reply right this is not a must that you write the same words and the same things this is a language uh, you are reading a language so you, you may have different answers but you must use the proper grammar and proper words that's all so now we going over to the next part where we will see that uh, mary met collins in the middle of the night imagine that you and mary and you are mary and write what you said to martha for the next day about meeting collins for the first time describe collins and your thoughts and feelings right now you have to write certain things i'll give you a writing tip i'll give you writing tips and you must make the sentences out of that because giving you sentences will not be good then you'll not be learning anything i'm giving going to give you the writing tips and you can write you can make sentences out of that okay writing tips waking up at night due to noise hearing the sound of weeping of someone finding collins on the bed telling him about yourself and he telling you that he is son of blah 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 talking to him promising him to meet again and reaction of martha you see martha was very perturbed she was very afraid but um, mary said that she didn't have to worry so you can write all these things okay i hope you liked our channel i i these videos you are liking if you please subscribe us if you like us and give us a thumbs up you can give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button and you may tell your friends to follow our videos because these are going to be beneficial for them also okay allah hafiz